Okay, welcome to Where and How to Get Help Month. I'm chatting with Caroline Kerslake. Caroline, do you want to tell us a little bit about what you do? And then we will start with where to start. Where to start, brilliant. Well, we'll start with my name's Caroline. <laughs> um, great to be here. Um, I'm a personal trainer, massage therapist, and a pelvic floor and core um, coach. So generally working with women, so a woman's wellbeing coach, maybe. Um, majority of everything I do is based on movement. So whether it's PT stuff, it's massage, which is movement as well, and using the massage to help you move better, and pelvic floor and core, which again can hinder our movement, and uh, we can work on that to help it. So working with women wherever they are at on their health and fitness journey, starting um, really from scratch, or if somebody's you know full on into their fitness journey but perhaps wants a change, um, circumstances change, I'm there to help you with that. Awesome, so. and I think. So in some of the other conversations around where and how to get help we've looked kind of at when to go to the doctor and all that stuff but I think within the exercise thing it's kind of it's not even necessarily a peri thing is it it's a oh god that's really daunting for a lot of people yeah oh absolutely I think the, perhaps more we, we can think about it more going through this life stage or we sort of think about things from in the past but exercise personally for me has always stemmed from being at school didn't like PE no no I was never um a fit and agile child so didn't always felt very uncomfortable in what you had to wear yep. was ever good at stuff and probably was never really that interested in the the actual aspects of it netball team hockey team all the rest of it so didn't like it and was happily on the cross country sneak off and have a fag behind oh, cross country was awful i know but then <laughs> if you saw the fag halfway through it broke it up a little bit but um <laughs> that obviously nowadays isn't ideal so going through life not having enjoyed exercise or movement there's always at the back of your mind thinking oh, i'm not going to enjoy that it's like sprouts as a kid i'm not going to eat those but as you get older your tastes change and it becomes easier but it's getting over that initial i don't like that or i feel daunted by doing that have i got to go back will i go straight back into that pe environment um and it might be that you do, and that's okay. It might be, you don't have to at all. You can do it, you can start again in any way that you want to. So, yeah. Yeah, and I think that's really important, especially, you know, there's such a lot on YouTube and, you know, you don't even have to go to a gym or to something organized no. any longer. Whereas previously it was a bit sort of, oh God, I've got to find a fitness class or whatever, and I'm gonna to have to put on some Lycra and, oh. but actually you can you can do anything in the, in the comfort of your own home yeah which takes and, away so much pressure doesn't it I absolutely. think and as you say with YouTube and all the online stuff you've got so many options to try things that maybe yeah. you haven't tried before but also to get the guidance and the, and the support so that you know what you're doing is the right thing you know in terms of your form or something um and yeah and knowing that it hasn't got to be just one way so if you think about going to the gym I've got to lift this I've got to do that or you go to a class it's got to be steps it's got to be coordinated no it could be no. whatever you want what do you you know what are you going to try and enjoy you might try lots of stuff and think no nope, don't like that that's absolutely yeah. fine but you'll find something that you do enjoy which you then continue make it part of your routine which then becomes part of um your overall health and well-being so yeah and that's so key isn't it something becoming part of your routine is yeah. really where we want to get to because um and I, you know i <laughs> speak very much from personal um experience here that when I used to do quite a lot of training if I didn't put it all in the diary it didn't happen it had to be it had to become an appointment on on an equal level of importance as any meeting or anything else because otherwise it wouldn't happen <clears throat> no that's very true actually because then if it's in the diary then it's it's important and we're giving us that importance rather than thinking oh it doesn't matter that other appointment for whatever else work family commitment is more important no your time and your yeah. um, movement is important but now I'm the same you've got to put it in the diary a whether that's because of peri brain and you might forget <laughs> or when you do think oh I can't be bothered and it's like no it's in there just go and just go and start just go and do it yeah um, it's that incentive a little bit more to to do that yeah so if somebody's thinking about sort of starting starting getting active and they are just wondering where to 
where do they reach out? So let's say they want to reach out to you and then they're just like, oh God, I can't because I'm such a complete novice. What would they, what things might they need in order to get started? I think initially just to make that contact, make yeah. that have that conversation because in that conversation we can discuss well what are you already doing you know yeah. when you stop and think about what you do in your day-to-day -day life you might go out walking you're up and down you are moving everyday movements mm -hmm. so you're already making that start and then we can then say well what would you like to be doing you know have you got a goal have you got a you know I want to do x y and z by the end of the year or I need to get a bit fitter for whatever reason so then discovering what your why is and yeah. then working to that. So it's, it's initially making that first contact, whether it's a, a phone call, a text, a message, whatever, and then going from there. And then devising, or say devising, but working out, well, let's try this route. It could be come and join a class. It could be let's do a one-to-one -one and progressing from there. I think it's literally just that first step, which often that first step, if we haven't done it for a long time or ever, it's that, oh, I'll put it off, I'll do it. Sometimes it's just, just do it. Just make that yeah. contact and just see what happens. You know? Yeah, yeah. And I think um, the why, I think, is a really important one to kind of expand on because it's very easy for us to have external whys. So shoulds, oh, I should be fitter or, oh, I should be able to do X, Y and Z or whatever. Yeah. They don't stick. No, no, no. Should is such a tough word as well. As I really try not to use it, but... Yeah, externally, you know, we, we have to do certain things. Um, we might not want to, but we have to, like going to work or something. Or they're actually saying, I love my work, so that's different. Um, but there's some things you might have to do. Whereas when there's something that you really want to do for you, you've got that, that passion that, you know, I'm doing it because of this. Yeah. What is, what is your why? And it can be anything. It could be the teeniest. It could be, I just want to be able to walk five minutes further or, or take the dog further or, keep up with the kids or whatever it is um to to something pretty epic triathlons or something or ma you know marathon whatever it is but what's that why that's going to make you get up not to say first thing in the morning but but actually get up and do that that step that action to get you to your your why yeah so, absolutely absolutely without, without it then it's what's the point you know doesn't matter does it no, no. Then you think, well, it's raining. I'm not going to bother. Or, oh, it's warm inside. Oh, Netflix is on. You know, <laughs> but if your if your why really drives you, I mean, you know, it's the same across anything. You know, if you're if you're looking to learn a language, I'm off on an analogy. I do love a good analogy. But if you're looking to learn a language, it's very difficult if there's no imminent contact with that country. Yes. You know, That's just in isolation, point. learning a language is really difficult. But yeah. if you're thinking, well, actually. I know I'm going to be going to whatever country in three months time. Well, there's your, there's your why, because you want to be able to interact. Yeah, that's brilliant, actually, thinking about it, because that's a real, you can see, right, I'm doing it because of, of that. Yeah. And uh, it's the same, but it's the same with movement and it's the same with any of these things. It's kind of going, right, okay. So maybe it is finding a 5K race that you want to sign up for. Maybe it is going, actually, I'd like to be able to go and do park run. Maybe it's, I want to be able to lift whatever, or I want to be able to, do a whole Zumba class and at the moment I know I can't or whatever or it might be something much more day-to-day -day, you know as you say keeping up with the kids or yeah whatever knowing that you can shove the sofa out of the way if you need to but you need to build a bit of strength better do that or yeah those sort of things um I did think of another one but it's gone again I really have got a brain fog today I do apologize perhaps it's Friday fog um but yes once you've got that why that will be the, that, yeah, you, I think, I do think you have to have a why, but it hasn't got to be a, a massive why. It could just be a little why, just enough to get you going. Quite often, once you then get going, that why might expand and change. It might not. You might think, actually, no, not don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm good with that. <laughs> good with that. And you find another why. Our why, our whys can change as often as we want. If something's not working, we don't stick with it. No. If it really intrinsically think no that's not for me that's fine for me Zumba no no nor me and it so was we're going left or right or back or foot what are we doing oh same with step classes I've oh. tried it. can't no oh. no I can't I tried for a little bit and my why to get better was just no not enough no so, I agree I 
I'm glad you've had the same experience. Oh, goodness me. Yes. Yeah. Give me a wait any day because I can, you know, happy with that. Yeah. My why is because I want to pick it up. Yeah. So is there any sort of little things that people can do at home, just as really simple things to just start moving? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. If, say, for example, I think if um haven't done anything, no particular routine, no nothing, what can you add to what you're doing at home now? So it's I quite like these sort of fitness snack bites where you just do a little bit throughout the day. So again, if you're at home based, you know, working or even in the office, getting up and thinking, right, it's time to take a cup of tea. While the tea's the kettle's boiling, I could do whatever. I could march on the spot. I could do squats. I could do um, star jumps or press ups or whatever. So you're putting that movement into part of your day. You are just starting. It could just be you're marching on the spot or it might be I'm going to go and walk up and down the stairs two or three times every time. Um, yeah, it's time for a break or to move up and down the stairs. So you're adding different movement to out, throughout your day, which a, gives you a break, but you can then build on from that. Um, and then maybe incorporate a set time where you might do something online, a class, follow something, or maybe you go out for a class or a session or a walk with somebody so it's just that I think initially starting what can you do where you are now what can you yeah. add on to what you're already doing without it being a real big oh gosh I've got to go and do all this well actually while I'm waiting for that I can do x y and z as well and just see how that goes and does that flow does that feel right does it can it progress and then when you're ready to you then take it to the next level maybe yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah and I think I think that's that um, you know with anything whether it's with sort of adding more veg into your into your food whether it's moving whether it's addressing past stuff you know all of these things in terms of how to start making changes and getting help it's it is about what can today me do that yesterday me didn't do yes yeah I like that yeah, even if it's just one more, whether it's one more squat, sit to stand from your chair, one more than yesterday, or one more bit of broccoli or an extra glass of water, what, yeah. you know, more, which to start with could be quite a big thing. Yeah, it's, also, it's so much less daunting than thinking, oh God, I've got to go into an hour yes. with all these machines that I don't understand. It's like, actually, okay, yesterday I did no squats, today I have done two. Yeah. I am... Yesterday me is already, you know, today yeah. me is already winning at life. Yeah, absolutely. That's brilliant. Yeah, I really like that. It is, and it, I suppose that as well, it's just a question of going, right, I'm just going to do it. Yeah. I'm just going to start. It hasn't got to be perfect. I haven't got to have the right kit. I haven't got to have this. You've just got to do it. And sometimes we overthink yeah. or we procrastinate or, well, I'll do it just after I've done that. And I said, like, that's why if it's not in the diary, but even when it's there in front of us, it could be tricky. So it might be, could you do something first thing in the day? Then it's done. Yeah. You know, either let, if you are going to go maybe for a walk or you're going to do something, maybe if you need certain things like your trainers or whatever, it's there. So when you get up, you can put it on, you go and do it. Um, or maybe it's better at the end of the day or middle of the day, but just just do it. Just whenever it's just, just try and get it done. I am. A, if I've got to do something, if I can do it first thing, then I'm the same. I'm the same. This is done. Really oh, good. Right, done that. <laughs> and then that sort of feel good of like, yes, I've done it. The whole day you've got that element like, yes. Yeah, slightly done smug that. for the rest of the day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That's brilliant. Thank you so much, Caroline. Very welcome.